China, an immense and vibrant country. At once ancient and enduring, an ever-changing tapestry of history and culture spanning 5,000 years. Th that is an incredibly complicated, interesting, sophisticated world that you could spend 10,000 lifetimes studying and never get to the bottom of. Today, 20% of the world's population calls it home. China enjoys the third largest economy in the world and is poised to soon place second. You know very well how important China is and how essential it is that we have a positive, cooperative relationship. The China-U.S. relations have come a long way in the past 30 years. We have ended confrontation and mutual estrangement to foster one of the world's most dynamic and influential bilateral relationships. China is, at this point, probably the most important country for uh, the United States to engage with. Today, in our own current economic crisis, it's pretty clear that, in fact, we have to partner with China. U.S. trade with China in this century has skyrocketed, and our future business leaders will need to be prepared. In order to compete in a global market, you need workers to understand not only language, but also the custom and tradition, the history of their country. Becoming globally competent is not only appreciating other people's good food, it's about learning to ask questions that will inform us about the world's problems and about how we can work together to solve them. We can learn a lot from uh, other cultures. We ought to build into our education system some dramatic changes. First of all, our students, when compared to students around the world, don't have the kinds of language skills that the rest of the world have. We've become somewhat complacent about our need to understand other languages. But in fact, there are more people in the world who speak Mandarin Chinese than speak English. Chinese is an official language of the United Nations and is the most widely spoken first language in the world. Yet, only 4% of total enrollment in foreign language programs in the U.S. is in Chinese. Studying a language does something magical. It opens the mind and it allows them to understand and embrace differences. If you just stay, you know, English, English, then you're sort of confining yourself in your character. But if you learn a whole other language, then you won't uh, feed into stereotypes and you'll be able to understand what is going on outside, you know, your country, outside your world. As a policymaker, we should move our entire educational system to multiple languages in the early grades, starting in preschool and kindergarten. My name is um, Carson. And one day, if I want to be like, um, if I want to go work in China, I can um, translate with the people and understand what they're saying. A Chinese language program can create a multitude of opportunities for all young people, regardless of zip code or test scores. Don't think of this as just for your elite kids. This is for everyone, any child, any socioeconomic background, and what a gift. It's something as small as a, just one language course can actually radically just alter the, the, the whole path of your life. Taking Chinese has opened so many doors, so many opportunities that have been given to me just because of this one language, and I think it's just amazing. One great benefit out of learning Chinese is learning how to learn. And if you get that, it transfers to every discipline. Infusing Chinese language and culture throughout existing curricula offers a profound way to engage, enlighten, and educate the leaders of tomorrow as they prepare for a shared future. You can build international content into reading, into science. If we get more of our young people thinking broadly about their role in the world, then we will have moved this country forward in a big way. Students today really need to know the world. And that kind of understanding, I think, brings not only prosperity to the world, but also peace to the world.